how many users can you have? Uh, gosh, I think we maxed it out at like nine or ten. I let the employees take it. Do you really? Yeah. Just as, you know, the ones who are doing really good and stuff, I'll, I'll let them take it for the weekend. It's, it's technically a company vehicle. And I'm not, you know, if the, the rims get scratches from curbs and that kind of stuff, and it's okay, they're, they're minor. But they all take real good care of it. And then it makes them obviously feel special. So. But the, Is it really as quick as everybody says they are? Uh, <laughs> Whoa. The biggest thing is, is it just, it's right away. It's instant. Like as soon as you push the pedal, you don't have to wait to rev. Uh, really good handling around corners. The self-driving is awesome. You're in self-drive mode now? Yeah, I just, oops, just turned it on. So it'll go around this corner. I'm not doing anything. You're supposed to keep your hand on the wheel. But it's turning, it's braking. What? Yeah. So when the light turns green, the car is going to move and it's going to continue to accelerate. Are you are you lying? A little bit. My how does it how does it how does it know that? Touching. So you've got cameras up here that watch the car in front. You've got cameras all around in 360 view, so it sees everything that's going on. Um, right now, they're in a primitive state of the autopilot. They can't release the full autopilot because the laws in California have to change first. Because um, autonomous driving is illegal, only unless you've got a special permit. So when it becomes illegal... So the autopilot now is a basic version. Yeah, they call it beta. It's as good as it can get with the given laws that we have. Are there any states that allow it? Not that I'm aware of. I don't even think that there's any countries. You know, maybe if you find something really small like Kazakhstan or something. <laughs> Uzbekistan. Yeah. Yugoslavia. Really, no countries. So Tesla's in Russia. Yeah, those don't have it. Can you hack it to open it full up? Theoretically, you can. There are... Yeah, Chris uh, isn't pushing anything right now. Yeah, nothing. So there are settings and stuff you can change. Uh, I don't think... Oh! <laughs> isn't that... Oh, isn't that a weird feeling, though? You mean... No. So, right blinker. Change the lane for you. you just change the lanes for him? Mm-hmm. And it keeps going. My speed's 40. I want to increase it to 45. It'll do that. I want to bring it back down. It'll go to 35. It automatically detects the speed limit and sets the speed to it. How does it know the speed limit? Because it's GPS? Correct. Yeah, it's got Google Maps. I'll try and slide this down. You can't see with the sun on it. Oops. <laughs> I gotta change it out of like night view. So this screen went bad? Yeah, the screen didn't go bad itself, but the screen turned off because of a failure of an internal component. And that component was like, what, a hundred bucks? Um, I had to buy it as part of another thing, but basically the, the easiest way to think of it is I bought it for $10, stole some parts, and sold it for seven. That's the easiest way to, <laughs> to think about it. So, oh, it's beeping because my your seat belt. Your seat belt. So it's got this huge map here, and it knows the speed of every street, and it'll set it to that. But some other. What's it like on the freeway? Uh, freeway is the best best place to use autopilot. I don't like using it in city streets um, because it's not perfect. You can have issues, but I feel on the freeway you can relax pretty well. Um, you always have to pay attention. You can't sleep, obviously. But I can look over, stare at the camera, and not have to worry about what's in front of me just by watching using my peripheral vision. But uh, the longest that I've, I've ever gone, I purchased this in San Francisco um, and drove it all the way back here. I just took a flight there. My wife and I picked it up. And on the way back, there was a long strip where I did 111 miles, 100% autonomous. Um, this is a trick that's already you know, been out there that people know about. You can put a weight on the wheel, something to pull it down, and it'll trick it thinking that your hand is on it. Is so, that why you have that blue thing right there? No, this is a little baby toy oh. my my daughter had that she loved, and she was clipping it on there, and I guess I just leave it on there out of sentiment. 
but uh, I have this trick here. I don't know if this should be in the video, but these are magnets out of a Prius electric motor. You put it on there, it adds weight, and it synthesizes a hand being on the wheel, so it'll never require you to grab the wheel afterwards. How much are these on your website? Oh, I don't sell these. I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I couldn't make a lot. I bet. You can wrap that and then just put an electron automotive on it. Exactly. Or you could give it as a gift to wait all your Tesla customers. Yeah, absolutely. Drive your vehicle illegally. <laughs> we didn't say that. We do not condone <laughs> illegal driving. This is awesome, Chris. Yeah, there's a ton of other features. Name a song you like, John. Uh, Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. Play Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. You've heard this song, right? Oh, yeah. Because you're like, by who? Yeah, who no, I knew the song, but <laughs> all of the classic artists get uh, all mixed get up. Mixed. Yeah, for sure. So, next after this song, I'll skip it. It's going to play something similar. You know, goes to Pearl, Pearl Jam. Jam and then Scorpions. Uh, Megadeth. I guess that kind of relates. Yeah, that's an awesome album right there. <laughs> So that's a cool feature that a lot of people love. Um, I love how everything is controlled through here. So I'll grab the sunroof. And I decided that I want it open 72% because that's my favorite spot. So you can actually go slow and get it to 72. That's 72%. Yeah, <laughs> 73. I didn't have the dexterity. You, know, you tap on the trunk, it opens. You tap on the hood, it opens. Uh, the suspension is great. Uh, at my grandma's house, pulling into the driveway, she's got a steep driveway, so I'll scrape. So I raise my suspension, and since it's air suspension, uh, it'll bring it up. And as I drive away from my grandma's, it automatically lowers. And then I come back to her house the next weekend, it remembers, it automatically raises the suspension for me. So you set it one time and it remembers it. Uh, you can control a lot of stuff through your phone. Like right now, I can, if someone's in the back seat, they can choose you know, to go to the next song, increase the volume, skip it. They can control the air conditioning and the heated seats. Is this one of the ones that dances? Uh, no, the dancing is the Model X, the SUV version. That's pretty impressive. This has... Uh, Let's see, Santa Claus mode is a big favorite of people. Santa Claus mode. Have you heard of it? No. All right, so there's no cars around, but you take a look at my screen. That's my vehicle. I okay. push the brakes, it turns on. I let go of the, uh, the brakes, the brake lights turn off. On, on. Put the blinker, you can see it flashing in there. So whatever my vehicle does, that does. And it detects vehicles around you and it'll make them appear on the screen. So. I'm going to let these people behind pass. It'll put them in front and their vehicles will appear on here. Once you understand that, Santa Claus mode will be 10 times better. So it's actually, it's just a representation of the cars it sees. It's not going to actually show no, like an H1 Hummer on there. No, no, no. It, it differentiates between three different things. Okay. Uh, small vehicles, uh, regular vehicles, trucks, and pedestrians. So this Toyota Yaris is going to pop up in the screen as a Tesla on the left. Okay. Because that's how everything should be. All cars should be Tesla. <laughs> I think someone's so, a little biased. So a lot more cars are appearing on the screen. Let's see that as a truck. Yeah, it will sometimes get confused based on the shape of the vehicle. But that shows all the other vehicles. This being mine, uh, you know what? Good thing I got the power to get to the light. <laughs> Man, it's just instant, huh? Yeah, and I did maybe 50%. So now that you know that, on Christmas Eve, I got a message on my phone that says, a new update is available, would you like to update? So I selected yes, and um, it did it overnight. It only takes, they say two hours, but I'd say it takes 20, 30 minutes on average. Went out to my car in the morning, and it told me there's a new surprise, just say ho, ho, ho as a voice command. So. Now I'll click the voice command. Ho, ho, ho. Take a look at my screen, then it's my cluster. 
now it's Santa, and all the cars are on a reindeer. Nice. Check this out. I'll put my left blinker on. <laughs> Pretty awesome, right? And that was all done as an update over the air. Tesla has something pretty popular called. Oh, what an idiot! Yeah, I saw that too. This guy, this guy just came into our lane. Um, you don't have to be on a Wi-Fi. No. It does it I have, cellularly. Yeah. Okay. I've got 4G internet. That's another thing that you can do to this car yourself. You can upgrade the internet without requiring a firmware firmware update. Um, it has 4G internet. It's pretty sketchy. Half the time it works like it should. The other half the time is like 3G. Um, but let's see. Let's Google something. Are there any major upgrades people are doing to these things? There's not very many because you're limited with the software. No, I mean like Brimble brakes or oh, not that I'm aware of. Calipers or not that I'm aware of. Most of the updates are, or sorry, most of the upgrades are little clip-on things. I got a sun visor thing here. When I open the door, I got lights that say Tesla on the room. The little knickknacks. But you got full internet in here. So you can go through. You can't watch videos for obvious reasons. Well, look, Bundy's Garage. Yeah, everyone needs to know about that place. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful picture of you, John. Oh, but yeah. it's pretty quick. You know, just to think a car has full internet in it. We're living in the future, man. What do you think this will be in 10 years? 100% autonomous. The steering wheel probably won't even be in the car at that point. Oh, that's, that's such a weird. That's my guess. Yeah. I mean, we're older. We're not young guys. I mean, I'm obviously older than you, but that's so weird, man. Yeah. Like our kids, you're, you know, your little girl. My kids are probably be like, "What? That's a steering wheel." Yeah. It's so 1990s, Dad. Exactly. Oh, don't pick me up in that car with the steering wheel. <laughs> <sighs> my All friends my friends make gonna... fun of me. Yeah. What's wrong with you, Dad? Yeah. There's Skyla. Her dad has a steering wheel. <laughs> There's a little Dakota. He still puts fossil fuels in his car. Yeah. So here's another awesome feature. This is called the Easter egg basket. Tesla adds updates to the car. And these are little fun things to play around and show your friends. And you can click on it. My personal favorite is the whoopee cushion referred to as uh, emissions testing mode. Nice. So far on demand will allow me to make the car fart by pushing this scroll button uh, discreetly. And then you can choose what type of fart you want. Right? So I want to frame my one-year-old daughter in the back. I'll put it on her seat. As we're driving, I'll tap the scroll wheel and she takes the blame. <laughs> so a lot of fun features like that. It's just a fun, great car. Um, How much are these cars new? It depends on the options you buy. Don't quote me on this. I haven't checked in a while, but I think you can get them as low as 80, as high as 160. Uh, it depends on what you choose. You know, if you want to choose the performance package, uh, do you want this type of interior? Do you want the autopilot? Full glass roof, the sunroof, you know, regular roof. Does that back one open too? Uh, no, it's just this main one. Okay. So you got a glass roof all the way back. I literally call it a panoramic roof. But um, check check Tesla's website pricing. So I'm pretty sure I'm off on those. But I know that the top ones go for somewhere around 140, 160. This is insane, man. Yeah, I got to take you from the stop on this. And by the way, John, this is the single motor performance package with a large battery. It's not the top one. They have one that has an additional motor, which is the Beast. So what you're about to feel is not even the fastest. The Beast.
traction control to keep it from peeling out. Can you shut it off? Uh, yeah. It's an option on the screen. So that's why guys want to put these in old hot rods. Yeah, and think about that. I mean, this thing weighs, I don't want to say like, from around 5,000 pounds. If you can put it in a Volkswagen Beetle. Just smoke everybody. Yeah. And just like, I just love that it's instantaneous. There's no way. <laughs> Santa mode still going. Have you ever been pulled over in this? Yes. For what, speeding? 